Hello, students. It's Ms. Chistone. So, in your page four, where you say an artist who affected the world, one, one artist who affected the world, maybe this will be better if I use the word one, because I had a student who was like, what? I don't understand. How would I do this assignment? Okay, really good question. Let's go all the way to it. Again, it depends on what is interesting to you. So if you like someone who's modern and it's an artist, just because I look at my project proposal and just because I talked about art and murals and cleaning up the city of San Jose in my proposal does not mean in my page four, I can't talk about Jay-Z or Beyonce or another musical artist, right? Or I can't talk about uh, a young artist who's like seven or eight years old, who's doing amazing things maybe in your elementary school and they developed the yearbook cover and that was meaningful to you and you want to profile them? Why not? Do it. I know a lot of people do that. So how do I start this? Again, let's go to our waffle and you go to new document every time you want a new document. And the reason why we like to use Google Docs, this one, is because it has an auto saving feature. You're always gonna find it. You're gonna find it when you log in with your MetroEd account. So that's really important. So right here, I would go to my page four and PG4 is just going to be short for page four. And I'm gonna say one artist, um, that affected me. I, I like to profile. So um, that could be music, could be a, a painter, could be a comic book creator. Um, I had a student who really liked Calvin and Hobbes and they grew up with it. So again, what do we do? MLA style. I'm going to go ahead and set this up. New Times Roman, 12 point font. I go to format, line spacing, double. I'm going to go ahead and center and I'm going to go ahead and write my title. One artist. And when you have a title that's centered, just be aware that all the words in that title get capitalized. Okay. That's really important. So I go over here and I left justify a tab over once for my um, paragraph alignment. And then I go ahead and, and start talking about that artist. So believe it or not, there was an amazing um, sculpturist in Guangzhou, China. And let me see if I can find this. Um, uh, Guangzhou City Center, right? Guangzhou City Sculpturist. Yeah, it's really famous and they're amazing. So there's, throughout the city of Guangzhou, which is in the Canton region of China near Hong Kong, uh, this is at the Opera House. And since I lived in China for a long time, I very often uh, would walk around the city because it was free and beautiful. And they have all these wonderful, memorable places that talk about uh, the sculptures and it was very interesting because if you go near um, some of the ones I'm specifically thinking of are these bronzes and they're right outside this main bank um, and they're running and there's mothers playing not the goats yeah there's mothers playing with children in the garden and other children would walk up to the sculpture and, and, and put themselves in the picture. And it was so adorable and just very cute. Um, this kind of bronze sculptures. Um, this is on Xiamian Island in Guangzhou. But what it does is remind me of New York. And this is another one of those um, in Guangzhou. So what I would do is I would go ahead and grab these sculptures and you can see in that sculpture, there's like a man and woman dancing 
and here's another woman lifting her uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that there and this is in Guangzhou um, and there are two sculptures Guangzhou, PRC, People's Republic of China. And I would tell how they affected me. So here's where you tell how they affected you. Whatever it is. So this again is very specific. And it's really important for you to um, tell your audience why. So again, we could go to tools voice typing. When I click this button, a little microphone comes over here and I'll type my story. When I was living in Guangzhou, I walked around the city and I saw so many beautiful sculptures. Many were bronze and silver or different metals and the detail was uh, very intricate. And very often I would uh, stop and take pictures of little children playing on the sculptures. And that reminded me of my hometown of New York City and Central Park. So I stopped there and I just, um, Go through here and I edit, right? And you see if it all makes sense, if they spelled it all. Oh, I'm gonna pause. Yeah. So so you just go through and you edit a little bit after you use your audit your um, speaking tool. And then what I really want to do is I grab this picture right of the China Daily where they can see that. And it's of this photo, right? So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste that. Copy. And I paste it into my reference page. Paste. Okay. And then I go back over here and I'm going to um, look for my um, New York City Central Park um, sculptures. Yeah, there's a honey bear at the fountain. Images. So as you can see, there's some interesting similarities where you have like Alice in Wonderland playing with the rabbit and uh, the Joker and little kids can come up to these sculptures and sit down and pretend they're having tea. Um, and it's in Central Park. There's an Alice in Wonderland. It's very famous. Um, and there's other monuments as well. There's a Balto, very famous story of Balto, um, Alice in Wonderland, and different kinds of Shakespeare. There's Shakespeare in the park. Um, so I would take this picture, right? And again, children love this. So in the summer, you will see, and what I'm doing is copying and pasting back into my paper, paste the picture. And so I can see those two different things. And then I would explain this one. And I'm going to go ahead and grab this um, website. And I just grab that, copy, put it to my reference page, paste. Oh, and it looks like this is not double spaced. So I'm going to go to my format, line spacing, double space it. And it's really good to do it the right way the first time. Otherwise, 
uh, you have to go back and make all of these uniform and that's problematic. And so now I have all the links to the pictures on my page and I'll go back in here and I'll talk about Alice in Wonderland. And so you can center this picture. You can center it in one place or you can use these options and say fix on the page or I could have the text go around that. So what I could say is um, have the picture be typed against that and then the text will go around it like a story, right? Um, I'll continue here. In Central Park, there are many sculptures like Balto the dog and Alice in Wonderland and Shakespeare in the park where many authors get a statue for people to remember. It is also very close to the New York Public Library. So people can go to the library and read the stories and go to the park and sit and read and look up and see the sculptures. So when I visited these two cities, I see similarities in their artistry and the mood that they're trying to convey of joyful reading, children playing in the park, and bringing that peaceful enjoyment to the city. I stop my microphone. And so what I can do is I proofread, I go back and edit, I make sure I have my pictures. And again, what I can do, I could totally decide myself to have these uh, pictures side by side next to each other, or I could do how I could place them how I did before. And I can move them up, place them in a paragraph, or I can undo that if I don't like that, and I can add them there. Um, but what it does is it serves as a highlighting experience so that um, when you're, the rest of it goes back to your project and you're talking about beautifying the city and we're talking about murals and getting rid of graffiti, you can also talk about other forms of art like sculptures or music or things that help keep the population calm, feeling happy, enjoying music and other ideas of culture. Culture is art. So that's what we like to convey with this assignment. And again, I would assume that this would take you a good hour where you would do some research, you would think, you would edit, you would get your thoughts down. Some students will be faster, others will be more slow and they'll take their time and look up different words. Okay? And that's why doing these kinds of assignments help you increase your knowledge of the computer, increase your knowledge of art, critical thinking, and analysis skills. Okay, I hope that helps.